how to start a trampoline park business and make $2 million a year. There is a massive opportunity in this business, and when I was researching it, it was crazy how much money this type of business brings in on a weekly and monthly basis. It is so profitable, and so many people are wanting to have their birthday parties there right now. So many kids love to go to the trampoline park. So we're going to get into how much it costs to start this business, how much you can make, what's the cash flow, and how you can grow this business into a successful business today. So let's hop right into this. Uh, My name's Nate Jones. Uh, I run this channel. I make videos on entrepreneurship, how to start businesses, and how to grow businesses. So if you get value out of today's video, hit like and subscribe. Okay, so how much does it cost to start this business? Well, we're going to have to build out the trampoline park, right? We're going to have to have somebody professionally come in and install all the trampolines and the foam pit, the basketball goal, all that stuff, right? There's companies that do this, and the cost for this for about a 20,000, 15 to 20,000 square foot facility, it's going to be about $250,000, okay? If you have $250,000 laying around, you could pay that, but if you don't, you're going to have to get a loan, and if you get a loan, you're going to have to put 25% down, which is $62,500 down, so your loan would be $187,500. That would, at a 10-year note at 10% interest, yep, interest rates are killing us right now with the loans, but just at a, a loan payment of $2,500 a month, okay? Well, we're also going to have to pay for the lease. We're leasing a 15 to 20,000 square foot building, which would be about $10 a square feet a year, which would put us at about 15000 a month on a decently low-end building, okay? So we don't need to have the most attractive building in the world. We just need something to get us off the ground and running. So uh, $15,000 a month would be a good monthly cost for that, okay? We're also gonna tack on another $1,000 a month for a building expense, our utilities, and anything that goes wrong with the building because we're probably gonna have to pay for most of the maintenance ourselves on that big of a building. Our insurance is probably gonna be around 12,000 a year, which would put us at 1,000 a month for our insurance. Our salary for our workers, our payroll, um, paying those workers, we're gonna have to probably pay about five workers at any given time, $15 an hour, which puts us at five times 15 is $75 an hour times eight hours a day is about $600 a day on a monthly basis. That puts us at $16,800 going out to our employees. Okay. Um, We're also going to spend about $2,000 for food, for just normal concession stand food, pizzas, hot dogs, and all that type of stuff. So adding that up, that's $38,300 a month in expenses and on an annual basis plus our down payment, that's $522,100, okay? So I know a lot of you guys are saying, holy cow, look at the expenses on this business. That is insane. I agree with you. It is insane, but what's even more insane is how much money you can make. So let's get there, okay? So the average ticket is about $25. If you're not a party, usually the average ticket is about 30 If you're in a party, it's about $20, $21, $22. So I just put the average at 25 because most people go to birthday parties, right? So we have 25 and the maximum capacity is going to be around 300 people and I said let's let's put some average numbers out here you could probably do better than this but you know I wanted I want to have an average number here so you can really show uh, so I can really show you what's attainable in this business for an average weekend you're gonna have 100, 150 people per two hours turning over because normally people stay about two hours and then they turn over so you're gonna have about 500 people coming in on a Saturday or a Sunday on both days so that's gonna be about a thousand people coming in on the weekend For the weekday, you're going to have about 100 people coming in Monday through Thursday, and then it's going to turn up on Friday, probably around 300 people on Friday. So on a weekly basis, during the middle of the week, it's about 700 people. So on a full week, we're going to have about 1,700 people coming through. And if the average cost is about $25 a ticket, you're making $42,500 a week in this business. That is insane, okay? On a monthly basis, we're making um, hundred and that's six thousand eight hundred people coming through on a monthly basis. That's a hundred and seventy thousand people or hundred seventy thousand dollars a month on a on a yearly basis. That puts us at that two million forty thousand number um, of total gross revenue. Pretty crazy that with just a sixty two thousand five hundred dollar down payment and uh, maybe floating a couple of first month expenses, you're looking at about maybe $100,000 saved up, you can build a business that does two million a year, insane. Crazy how much money in this, and I really went through these numbers and really did research to make sure that that's realistic, so I fully believe that that's realistic. On a cash flow basis, our revenue on a monthly basis is 170, minus our 38,300 in expenses, put us at us, uh, puts us at $131,700 a month, 
cash flow. You're making $130,000 a month profit. Profit. It's insane. On a yearly basis, that's $1.5 million a year that you're that you're profiting um, and that you can really invest in on basically probably building another business. Minus your down payment, payment puts you at right around six. 500 or 1.5 million okay this is about 1.580 so we take down the down payment of 60 to 70 grand that puts us at 1.5 so you're profiting 1.5 million um insane profitability here um and just a great business as far as money coming in if you can really save up that nut to get started then you could really be successful in this business so let's talk through what are the ways in which this business can fail because we want to make sure we build a successful business we know we can make money in this but let's create strategies amongst how can we grow a business successfully and the best way i've seen that i've done that in my businesses is i think of all the ways in which it won't work I think of all the ways in which this business will be unsuccessful. I tear it down, I bulldoze it, and I'm the biggest critic, I'm the biggest jerk about this business, okay? So when I was thinking about this, number one, sales and marketing. We need people to know that we got a trampoline park. We need people to know that they need to come to us when they have a birthday party and that they're gonna have a great time. So you need to get the you need to get the sales and marketing out there so people know about your trampoline park. It means local ads, Facebook ads, internet, showing up on Google search, you know, doing everything and being everywhere so people are, on, that you're on the people's mind of having their birthday party, okay? So sales and marketing is gonna be super important in this because if you don't have people coming in the door, you have these hefty expenses. You need people to come in to this this business, okay? Number two is safety, okay? If people don't feel safe, they're getting hurt, and there's horror stories like, you go to the trampoline park, you're gonna die, or you're gonna break a leg. We don't want that. So we need to make sure that we hire trusted contractors to build out our trampoline park and that, we're, that we understand how to maintain our trampoline park because if we don't and we get complaints out there that'll put you out of business faster than anything else okay so let's make sure that we build a safe environment for people so we don't get bad google reviews and bad reviews on the internet okay we also need a clean facility there's gonna be a lot of kids running around a lot of parties a lot of different things going on so we need to make sure that our facility is clean so people feel like that they're having a great experience at our trampoline park we also need to make sure that we are good at hiring and firing employees since there's a lot of people running around um, you need to make sure you have employees that you can trust because there's a lot of stuff that's going on and you need to make sure that, hey, if something needs to be done, we need to trust that our employees are going to get it done and your employees are going to make or break you in any business, but especially in this business, making sure that things get done right and correctly. Okay. After that, what we're going to get into is the legal side of business, which is creating an LLC, creating a corporation, reach out to a local attorney in your area to make sure that you know the state laws and regulations for setting up a business and also with that attorney i would ask them to draft a waiver for you a waiver and i think i saw a lot of systems in which you can buy where people can sign up through a tablet and have an e-signature and have that emailed to them but a waiver is going to be super important in this business because there's a lot of ways in which you can get hurt and if you're if people are getting hurt on your property and you're the reason why that is a liability lawsuit so you need to make sure that you have a waiver that is transferring that liability to somebody else and that they're assuming that this is a dangerous environment and that they could get hurt so making sure that you have a great waiver and how you can get people to sign up and how you can save those waivers and document that is super important I'm sure there's an online system in which people can sign up um, every person who comes in that facility needs to sign that waiver okay we also need to buy insurance just in case something happens that we're actually at fault for what if one of the trampolines break and somebody gets hurt okay well then we need to make sure that we have insurance for that because if we don't you know we're gonna have to pay that out of pocket okay so insurance is probably gonna be a decent expense for this business we need to make sure we have it because insurance will protect us against the unforeseen and accidents that happen in our business okay so after that we need to commit to starting the, this business i think this is a great business um, the profitability in this business the only thing that scares me about this is the liability aspect i think even with a waiver depending on your state i think there's a lot of ways in which people could come after you um, for having a trampoline park and i don't think it's you know when i don't think it's if it's when a trampoline kind of breaks and hurts somebody so i've already seen horror stories online about it so this business i don't know if it's for me because there's a lot of liability with it but that being said um there's liability in any business you build and with this business i mean shoot if you're making 1.5 million a year you could probably sell this in a couple of years and move on in life okay so um great business and if you get value out of today's video hit like and subscribe